I'm Red. And I'm Paula. And this is Blue Collar Bites. Uh, give us about seven minutes. This is Red. Today we're at Kurt's You Need a Butcher, which is a little grocery store slash, I don't know, plate lunch place, boudin kind of place. Butcher shop. On Surrey Street. Surrey Street in Lafayette. So we're going to go in. We just placed an order for some chicken cracklings. When you order them here, and they cook them fresh so you don't have no chicken crackling sitting up under the heat lamp and i'm talking to you new news <laughs> always cooked fresh made to order at kurt's you need a butcher yeah and they don't they don't batter them here it's just the straight up skin and the fat and the meat and they have this awesome sauce on the side called rooster sauce so we're gonna go in and we're gonna show you all the stuff that they have in the store besides just like the boudin stuff so they have the traditional stuff like reshard, Cajun, but then they also have fresh meat, they have fresh pork, turkey bones, sausage, turkey necks, which is good for gumbo. Turkey wing meat. Oh, it's just the meat? Just the meat. They, they cut it up. That's they cool. have feet and then they have leg quarters. They have hens. Wow, they have gumbo hens here. So this ain't something you see at Walmart. They have pig heads for sale. I'm not exactly sure what you do with it, but if you want it, they got it here. They also have fresh rabbit, probably farm raised. Turkey rolls, oh my God, look how good that looks. Of course, they also have stuff fresh in the meat section, so they have like the tripe and that kind of stuff because you know this is a butcher shop. They got marinated pork right there, stuffed chicken thighs, stuffed pork chops, which is one of my favorite things, stuffed mushrooms, some marinated what is that chicken? Cut up chicken, yeah, okay, and that looks like turkey necks, marinated turkey necks. We got smoked sausage, we got smoked ham hock, and then the traditional pork and whatever cuts back. Oh my God, look how good that looks. You can see that there's a little bit of meat on it and then the skin is just fried so crispy and then they season it as well. And we have like this little rooster sauce. What would you describe it as? I don't know. It's not a wing sauce. It's not a hot sauce. It's like, I guess it's more toward a hot sauce, but it doesn't have that real vinegar to me. Spicy? It's spicy. <laughs> okay, so we got the rooster sauce. We got the fried chicken cracklings, which, oh my gosh, so good. <laughs> this is mm. spicy today. So we got two links of chicken boudin. And as you can see, the consistency is a lot more. It's a little more fine. Added, you know, maybe. Oh yeah, the grind is much finer. Yeah, it's smaller than than the regular boudin. I think. Never had it before. No. So we're gonna check it out. See if it's uh, tasty. It looks good. It smells good. So we'll try it out here, and I'll let you know here in a second. You just ate boudin on camera. Don't but look your partner in the eye. I didn't look you in the eye, did it's I? It's good. It has good flavor. I don't like the consistency, I'm gonna taste though. It. Mm. But I don't eat boudin in the casing. I always use a fork. It tastes really good. But there's no bite to it. There's nothing to actually chew. It's like a paste. That's what I was saying. But the flavor is good. Very spicy. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. It just, the consistency is not what I expect yeah. when you eat Buddha. Huh? Right. Okay, those cracklings. They're so good here. Really, all the other places batter their cracklings and this place is the only one. It's just straight up chicken skin. So good. So good, so crispy, mm. not- Greasy at all. Not greasy, not, not hard. Not flabby from sitting <clears throat> in the heat lamp. They're so good here because because they do them when you order. That's right. But I just would like to clarify something. In here. the 70s when I was a girl, I remember saying that 
why don't they sell just fried chicken skin? That's really all you want to eat when you eat chicken. Well, at least that's all I wanted to eat when I was a kid. And now everybody's selling it. I feel I should get commissioned for coming up with that idea. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they buy that. So what did you think about the boudin? Honest opinion. Honest opinion. I thought the boudin had good flavor, mm -hmm. but but the mouthfeel wasn't there. Consistency of the, of the grind. It's more like a dip. It was a paste. It's like a paste. And, and I don't like that when I eat boudin. So I don't think I would get it again, me personally, just because of the mouthfeel, the consistency of the What was grind. it that you said that it was like a chicken stew that all the water yes. cooked out and you just... That's what I, that's the flavor I got. It's like when you cook a chicken stew, you cook it down and there's no water. They threw in the rice, ran it through the grinder. Mm. And I mean, like I said, it had good flavor. It just maybe that's how they cooked it. It was good. It was just mm, that texture was bad. Texture. And I have like a huge thing with texture, so yeah, the texture wasn't like a regular <clears throat> boudin. So over here, we bought chicken cracklings. We bought one pound. <clears throat> this stuff is like gold. It was fifteen forty-four for one pound of chicken. We crackling. bought the chicken boudin. It was. We bought two links. It was three dollars and seventy cents. So that's what a dollar thirty-five for one link of boudin. Mm -hmm. Y'all, that's cheap. That is cheap. But it's because it's the chicken boudin, right. not pork. I mean, you don't want to be eating chicken cracklings as a meal. I mean, I would, but some people <laughs> probably don't want to eat that. But the boudin, the chicken boudin, if you don't have a textural thing like I do, you you could eat a lot of that for pretty cheap. It didn't satisfy. Right. When when I hear boudin, I expect a certain thing. Yeah. And. It didn't deliver on that end. Well, Kurtz is open Monday through Saturday, and I think they open at like 7 in the morning, and they're open until 5.30. They really have a good meat selection. It's a fantastic butcher shop. It really is, and... I think we're going to get that. They turkey. have meat specials here. They have specials on chicken, which is not really something that you can find at many butcher shops. Mostly it's pork or beef or whatever. So until next time, when we pop a top on a venture, we'll see you then. Thank you.